What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Mods World. And what, we what is this guy's team about, bro? Yo, this guy is not playing any kind of games, man. This dude straight up does not give a f about anything. He finna come out, spend his mortgage check, welfare check, what kind of check, whatever the check is. Do finna spend it on packs. But listen. This video was strictly about zone coverage. Now, we all know about the whole zone 91 overall threshold and all that stuff like that. I know that I... See, this is what the thing is, right? It took me a while to let you guys know previously that it doesn't really matter about speed. It's about zone coverage because, you know, people telling me that I'm, you, I'm an old school Madden player. So we all know, every old school Madden player knows this one thing. It's all about speed. But this year, it's very, very difficult to do anything like run past people, stuff like that, if you play the proper type of zone, right? So look, in this video right here, I got Terrence Newman. Terrence Newman is a 94 overall cornerback. 94 overall, okay? What? what? Did I say 94 overall? A 94 overall zone. 94 overall zone, excuse me. He's like a 91 overall or something like that. Because I know some, come, some of you guys are going to be like, oh, bro, yo, he's not 94, g -Maya. Yeah, thank you. I know. So everybody makes mistakes. So thanks a lot, bro. Um... So he's a 94 zone coverage. Talib on the other side, he's like 92, something like that. I don't even know what he is. He sucks. But I'm going to show you exactly why I rage in this game. Um, it's very, very simple to explain. The dudes, every time the game is packed, something happens and it gets wild, right? So we have to be prepared for that. And for all my fans that are all across the world, um, like he about to throw this pick right quick. He, he's still throwing screens. This guy's an idiot. All you got to do is man up the guy on the screenplay and it goes for six. But anyway, for my fans in Australia, Italy, Germany, uh, shout out to Russia. We had, uh, who was the guy that just came in? I forgot where he said he was from, Hawaii today. Um, because of the different time zones, you guys were asking a lot of questions about the flashbacks and stuff like that. Just put this in your calendar. 10.30 Eastern Standard Time is when most of the things with Mutt updates, with the exception of the Team of the Week, which happens at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays. Now, obviously, if you're in Australia, we're about like 12 hours, you're like 12 hours ahead of us. Whatever that adds up to, let me know. If you guys can leave that in the comment section, what the Eastern Standard Time is 2 p.m. here, what it is over there, that's usually when it updates. So it makes it very, very difficult for me to try to explain um, certain things as far as the time zones go, but I'm doing my best to try to make sure that everybody feels like they're included because that's what it's all about. You guys support me. I just wanted to put that out there to make sure you guys understand because what's going to happen is I'm going to get rid of, um, you know, Newman in a little bit, but I was, I was talking about it because the, um, the Josh Norman flashback, which was newly released. That's why I was getting rid of them. That was initially why I was getting rid of them. Um, so just to give you an idea, I wanted to get rid of both uh, Talib and, uh, Talib and um, you know, Newman regardless. But this game was like, it's time for me to make a move. Because both of them over the last three days have been allowing their bodies to disappear when the ball is thrown at them. So um, going forward in this game right here, this guy that I'm playing, you saw what he wanted to do. The guy wants to come out and throw picks. This guy is a total bum. Now, all bums are not created equal. Never think that. Because some guys will do some really, really wild things, bro. Like, really, really wild. Like, for instance, right? You see this guy throwing this uh, drag route? It doesn't matter what zone coverage my linebacker is in. It doesn't matter that Brooks has a decent zone as a linebacker. I don't care, you know, Pelosny. Whatever zone linebacker you have, they're going to play that drag the same way regardless. Okay? It doesn't matter what zone they're in. It's just that sometimes the computer will glitch up and they'll actually play it and possibly intercept it. But zone coverage... It matters, but at the same time, it really doesn't. And I, I'm trying to explain it so that everybody understands. It's sort of like this, right? Richard Sherman has a 92 zone or something like that, that most feared one. And what I realized is on fourth down and like 20, he just turns into Casper the Friendly Ghost and allows the ball to be thrown directly through his body. Now, whether or not you think that that's cool, it turns you on, I, look, that's not what we, we're here to discuss. It kind of makes me feel good, too, to be honest. Like, I really just want to go out and just start doing push-ups nonstop. You see what I'm saying? You see, like, how he's going to throw to that drag route no matter what? You have to take care of that as the user. Zone coverage is not going to stop that. For some reason, I don't know why, it, EA Sports makes it seem as if it's very impossible to cover a drag route. Now, if you've ever played football or you watch football, you know that that's not the case. If a dude wants to lock up a drag, the drag is going to be locked up. It, it is what it is. But specifically with the purple, you got the hook zone. You got, um, it's just so many other different types of zones that you could play now. And uh, yeah, bad time to drop user pick. Yeah, that, that's regular. Don't even worry about that. Um, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just so done with it. But depending on how you want to play it, because I run 4-3, right? So I got my four down linemen and I got three linebackers that's roaming around. 
whatever you put them in, you got to be very, very careful. Like if you look at that Will Blitz 3 that I'm running right there, that purple zone, they stop in the middle real quick and then they go to the outside to see if anything is happening. Typically, if, the, if that linebacker sees that that man is coming across on a drag, he's going to wait for him and watch it. And then the safety over the top is going to watch the inside receiver. You see what I'm saying? Like, look, what? let's pause this. That's Terrence Newman. That's 94 zone. Go ahead and stop the video. Pause the video. Who, who do you think is going to catch the ball? Go, go, do it now. If you thought that Terrence Newman was going to pick that, you got to like the video twice. That means you have to like the video, then unlike the video, then like it again. Because you don't understand what Madden has in store for you. If you ever thought in a million years that Terrence Newman, because he had 94 zone and he's in a hard flat that I hot routed him to, that he would have possibly picked that ball because zone coverage matters that much, like the video, unlike the video, then like it again. Because that's your punishment for thinking that zone coverage matters. Now, I'm partly to blame for that because I actually made a video telling you guys that it mattered and then people were like, yeah, it took you so long to say it and stuff like that, but that's why I didn't want to say it because I knew there was a catch to it. The bottom line is you got to put your players in the best possible position to make a play. Let me explain, right? If a dude is running an out route and it's a deep out route, your cornerback should not be in a hard flat. Soft squat, cloud flat. You understand what I'm saying? Depending on what's going on. If it's a C route, it depends though. Because with the C route, I'll give you this. The higher zones, you can get away with playing a deep blue on a C route if the zone coverage is very, very high. And I've actually lab tested that. And it does work. Okay? But I don't want to give that information out because everybody can't afford high zone corners. So what I'm doing now is I'm going back. See, you see, you see that guy right there? He's in a purple zone. Now, typically, he's supposed to go all the way back up the field with that guy. You saw how he stopped? This is what I'm saying. It doesn't really matter about a lot of the things that you guys feed into. That's why I tell you guys that ask, yo, what playbook are you run? What this, what that? Don't worry about that. Worry about the specific plays that you're going to use when you're ready to get the ball thrown through your body. That's the major issue that we're having here. How can we defend the routes that these guys are utilizing? Because this guy has been doing the dumbest plays all the way up the field. And it's nothing I can do about it, bro. I'm helpless watching this guy do it. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. And you see like how I went with the drag route. Now look, you see Newman right there? Yeah, he'll jump that route. And you're probably gonna be like, yeah, that's because of his zone coverage. No. Any corner that I had right there with this same defense, because that blue zone, that blue zone leaks to the inside once they know that those two receivers are in the same vicinity. It's just like if you've ever played football, you know. If you're, if you're in zone and you're in a deep blue, you're just backpedaling all the way back. Whatever you see... If you're watching the quarterback, you're going to jump the route. Any corner would have, they would have jumped that. It's very, very little what you're going to get with the higher zone coverage. And I'm telling you that because after I figured out what was going on, I, I, I played a game with Darrell Revis, 59 overall. If you're playing Mutt, it doesn't matter what system you are. When you start the game off, you have a 59 overall Darrell Revis. He has 44 zone. When I tell you that this man was lock up, he was completely lock up just based on the zones that I was running, okay? So with the whole situation that I'm trying to explain right now, you guys have to understand what I'm trying to tell you. If you like a corner, say you like Jalen Ramsey, he doesn't really have that deep, you know, that crazy zone coverage, whatever like that, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Focus on hot routing to better zones, cloud flats, hard flats, you know, deep blues. There's like three or four different versions of the deep blues. They got the invert deep blue. Focus on trying to put your corners in the proper position rather than thinking because the rating is high that they're going to play everything because it's just simply not true and it's stupid and people don't understand that it doesn't make sense. So I'm telling you because I'm not looking for that anymore. I'm looking for corners that I like depending on whatever they're doing, probably because of speed or whatever like that. And I'm going to put them in positions to make plays. And that's it. I don't care anymore because what I've learned is that since I started falling for the zone coverage thing, the ball has been thrown through my body on an excessive basis. And I just don't want to do that anymore, guys. I don't want to have to, you know, let you guys watch me. Uh, a guy goes for it on fourth down on me, throws it through my body. I start raging. I got to drink X amounts of vodka. It, it just, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm going to drink the vodka anyway. You know what I'm saying, bro? But it's just the fact that when I'm locked in, I'm really locked in. And I just don't want to deal with these ridiculous things that happen. That's all I'm saying. And I don't want my viewers to feel like, yo, this is what the wave is. It's all about zone. Because in my opinion, it's all about the specific coverage that you hot route to. Just because you come out and, you're, and your cornerbacks are in a soft squat, that doesn't mean you have to keep them in a soft squat. 
You could globally change them. You could individually change them. Quick, 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 quick. You know what I'm saying? Using the buttons, change it, man them up, do all that stuff like that. That's what I'm going to encourage us to do right now. My viewers, I don't care about anybody else's subs. If you're my sub and you support me, I'm going to give you the information that you need to be successful. We don't care about other people's uh, Madden channels and stuff like that. When you're, I'm very, very selfish with my loyalty. And my loyalty is to my subs. And I want you guys to be loyal to me too. So if there's some guys that you want to watch and listen to for different things, that's fine. But if you cheat on me, bro, you're forever banished. Just like in Game of Thrones. But if, what, what, okay, he's going to DC glitch me, right? Bro, DC glitch me, DC glitch me, whatever. So listen, just so we're on the same page, in, the next, in a couple videos, you're going to see what's going on. I'm, I had it up to here with Talib. I had it up to here with Newman. And I showed you why this has been a long time coming. I'm going to need you to subscribe, like the video, and share it. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.